Application number one shows a paper plant application running I2O through the plant network and wirelessly to a remote oil tank location. Acromax 961EN is receiving and transmitting two 4 to 20 milliamp signals coming from the waste treatment plant. The module is connected through a switch into the plant network going back to the DCS. The DCS control cabinet includes a five port ethernet switch and an analog 972EN analog output module that is feeding the analog input cards on the DCS. The remote oil tank location includes a level transmitter output wired to another 961EN analog input module. This module is connected through an RF wireless modem going back to the DCS control cabinet. The RF modem and another 972EN is connected together and into the plant network through the five port ethernet switch model 900EN by Acromag. This application shows how I2O can be used with existing infrastructure and through new wireless installations for remote locations. Imagine the wire savings and performance improvement with this system. Right now, you may also be asking yourself if the 961EN module on the oil tank could simply map to the spare channels on the first 972EN module. The answer is yes thus saving further hardware costs for the user. Application number two is showing how I2O can be used for remote pump control applications. Again, the use of wireless RF modems and Ethernet switches are shown with Acromag's I2O hardware. You'll notice the Modicon 984 architecture is controlling the pumps through its discrete I.O. cards combined with the I2O technology. In this application, the use of digital communications such as Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP IP was not an option. Another interesting point with this application is how similar it is to a standalone data acquisition system. If you replace the Modicon 984 with a video graphics or chart recorder, the I2O solution becomes a very affordable and distributed data acquisition system. Application number three illustrates how to use combo cards for remote switching and sensing requirements in the power utilities industry. The customer requirement is for a simple bi-directional I.O. system that could pass 16 DIs and one analog input going one way and three DIs going the other. In analyzing the application further, the client really needs a little logic on 15 discrete signals, not 16. The requirement is to propagate a switch closure if any of the 15 contacts fail open. So some simple logic, uh, simple OR type logic is needed to accomplish that function. One other requirement for the system is the switching and sensing of 125 volts DC and 48 volt DC logic. Acromag's uh, discrete I.O. modules support up to 36 volt DC logic, however the use of slave relays are deemed acceptable as a logic level interface. The solution to application number three is through the use of two 951EN combo modules with I2O. Combo modules allow the user to send up to two analog signals and three discrete signals both ways. To solve the logic OR requirement, all 15 normally closed relays are placed in series and wired to only one discrete input on the 951EN combo module. In this case, if any of the 15 normally closed relays or wiring breaks open, the discrete input module will see a change of state and propagate a switch change to the output module. To meet the 500 meter fiber optic single mode requirement, Acromag's EIS 408FX-S web managed switches meet the needs. These units can transmit up to 30 kilometers over fiber. Application number four shows how to use I2O technology combined with Acromag's redundant fiber optic switch technology. You'll notice the fiber optic switches are placed in a ring fashion. 
The switch technology will automatically detect if there is a break in communications going one direction through the ring. If a fault is detected, the ringmaster will automatically reroute communications the other direction via the backup path. Communications will self-heal within 300 milliseconds. For mission-critical I2O applications where redundant, self-healing communications is necessary, Acromax Ethernet industrial switches offer a rugged, reliable, and affordable off-the-shelf solution. Key points on the I2O Advantage include four basic things. First, its ability to work with any Ethernet media. This means better solutions for wireline and wireless applications, higher performance, and the ability to lower long-term wiring and installation costs through the reuse of your infrastructure highway. The solution is open, expandable, bi-directional, and fail-safe. Second, because of Modbus and TCPIP combined protocols, the solution is reliable and simple. TCPIP means Transport Communications Protocol Internet Protocol. The function of TCPIP is to assure that all Ethernet messages and packets are never lost and received in the proper order. When combined with Modbus Protocol, we can experience a fast and simple solution that requires configuration, not complicated programming. The third, the solution is applied and expanded in pairs. Analog input modules go with analog output modules. Discrete IOs go with discrete IOs, and combos go with combos. And lastly, the fast update times for discretes and analog signals mean the technology is perfect for most monitoring, remote control, and shutdown applications. Thank you for your time and interest in Acromag's presentation on the I2O Advantage. We hope you find the technology innovative and will be able to benefit from it at your location.